Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about vaginal cancer. So uh, it is one of the last cancer we have uh, we have been discussing in oncology part. So let's start. Okay, so vaginal cancer is a is a rare. Okay, it's not very common. Only one or two percent of the total gynecological oncology means all this uh, CSRPC. <coughs> endometrium ovarian cancer it's very rare one to two percent only. Now, what are the type most common type of vaginal cancer is squamous cell carcinoma of 85 percent in rest 15 percent we have another parts like adenocarcinoma melanoma sarcoma uh, which type you have uh, this type the clear cell carcinoma you have heard most because it it was uh, happening because of use of diethyl sterbesterol uh, drug in uh, in uh, pregnancy in the previously when it was not detected that it causes clear cell carcinoma it was used as a estrogen synthetic estrogen uh, it will help the uh, pregnant woman to have many uh, relieve many symptoms like uh, uh, like misabortion and uh, bleeding and everything so it was very useful drug once a time now it is not used <clears throat> and that's why the incidence of clear cell carcinoma is also decreased what is the etiology of uh, vaginal cancer little is known because uh, its uh, etiology is always between uh, the vulval carcinoma and cervical carcinoma vaginal carcinoma per se uh, it has it doesn't have any particular uh, specific etiology it's just like a squamous cell carcinoma happening every any any time anywhere in the body okay now how you diagnose the symptoms will be like uh, uh, watery discharge uh, bleeding vaginal bleeding and everything and you, you will ex uh, perform the colposcopic examination you will see or you can see a per vaginal examiner per speculum examination and you will see any mass what you do you do a full thickness biopsy once you once you uh, suspect that there, there should be a carcinoma or there should be a tumor then you should go for a full thickness biopsy now uh, <clears throat> other investigation you again whenever you find vulval carcinoma sorry vaginal carcinoma you always suspect for another uh, carcinoma like cervix and uh, vulva uh, mri should be done mri pelvis should be done to know the statuses of the lymph node or any other metastasis now staging how we uh, do a staging of vaginal carcinoma it's easy the stage one is tumor confined to vagina okay stage two means it invades the paravaginal tissue but not pelvic side wall the third stage is tumor extend to pelvic side wall the fourth is beyond pelvic side wall so the tumor invades bladder rectum beyond to pelvis it was a and what is 4b all cases of distance metastasis are included in stage 4b so this is the staging okay it's very easy now how you treat the thing <clears throat> again treatment of uh, gynecological carcinoma will always be uh, first try to go for surgery and then for go for uh, chemo radiation depending on the severity if the stage is in in a not very severe stage or early stage we go for surgery and if the cancer or if the tumor is on the late stage then we go for chemo radiation only so here yeah. in stage one <clears throat> we again have divided the treatment by two uh, by two uh, like uh, if the tumor is less than 0.5 centimeter deep okay you are seeing the tumor if you if you have given the full thickness biopsy now you will see that whether the tumor is less less than 0.5 or 5 mm uh, deep okay then you can know that yes the, the cancer is not that well uh, deep and uh, what you can do is vaginectomy total vaginectomy followed by vaginal reconstruction intracavitary treatment or uh, becky therapy also should be given like 60 to 70 curious if the if the uh, apart from this if the tumor is in lower one third of vagina then external beam radiotherapy to the pelvis and inguinal lymph nodes should be given. Why? Because from the lower one third of the vagina, 
the lymph nodes, uh, the draining lymph nodes will be inguinal lymph nodes. So yes, you also need to do a external beam radiotherapy. What you are giving me here? You are giving a vaginectomy, surgical treatment plus radiotherapy. Also therapy and radiotherapy both. Okay. Now, if the tumor is more than 0.5 cm deep, more than 0.5 cm deep, then, then you consider it as, yes, this tumor can have can have a lymph, uh, a lymph node involved. So, why the vaginectomy should be done? Pelvis lymphadenectomy should be also done. Pelvic lymphadenectomy, including inguinal. Okay. A reconstruction of vagina should be done. Becky therapy is as usual given like in stage uh, in uh, point is less than 0.5 centimeter deep. Tumor 60 to 70 gyri. But if if <coughs> If the tumor is in the le uh, lower one third vagina, then you must consider lymphadenectomy of inguinal, inguinal lymph nodes, followed by external beam radiotherapy. Okay, there is a difference here. Here in 0.5 centimeter, less than 0.5 centimeter deep, what we are doing? We were doing just vaginectomy and radiotherapy. Here, what we are doing? We are doing pelvic lymphadenectomy. Also, we also considering the inguinal lymph, and lymph node to be removed. Okay, so this was uh, uh, in stage one. Now, what is the treatment of stage two? It's similar like stage one where we have discussed a treatment like this, uh, more than 0.5 centimeter. What you do? Total vaginectomy, wide vaginectomy followed by reconstruction, Becky therapy plus lymphadenectomy plus radiotherapy. Okay, in stage two. In stage 3 and 4, uh, we consider it as a late stage. So, only chemo radiation is there. You can go for Becky therapy and external beam radiotherapy. So, this was, I think, at our level to understand what is vaginal cancer and how we should treat that cancer. Thank you, friends.